Hey everyone and welcome, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert, and I'm hanging out here in uh, Grill Stadium today for our edition of Ace This Recipe. We are uh, talking cedar plank cooking on our Weber Genesis E325. Uh, super awesome, I love cedar plank cooking. Today we're talking steelhead, right? Which is uh, an interesting fish because it's basically trout, but yet the trout acts like salmon. So actually from time to time they'll call steelhead salmon trout. Eh, but anyways, so we're gonna be cooking on this beauty today. We're gonna be cooking at about 450 degrees. The beauty of cedar plank cooking is really um, getting a little bit of toast on here, a little bit of char, and then just flipping it over, putting the fish on there, cranking it up, and getting that beautiful aroma. Cedar planking is just that aromatic uh, fun that really adds a, a well-developed flavor to your fish. Now, we're gonna walk through as well and show you some ways to uh, cut the salmon. Right, because a lot of times people ask, hey, skin on or skin off, so we're gonna show you both of those uh, methods today. Now, today's recipe, right here, this guy, can be found right down below. If you go into the description section, you expand that section, you can click, print, and follow along. And then a little I is going to pop up, that is our information station. That'll let you into the world of gear, gadgets, grills. And today we've got a really cool gadget, because we're gonna be breaking in the new Weber Connect, which is gonna be that step-by-step -step cooking assistant that will allow us now through Wi-Fi to go in the house and chillax and relax. Let that salmon do its thing on the grill and then that will notify us when we're done. So it really gives us an opportunity to engage more with our friends and family, let the grill do what it's supposed to. Simple and easy, right? Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Let's do a quick little walkthrough. I'll get you up close and personal. We'll do our ingredient flyover and then we'll show you how to get the cedar plank soaked, the grill started, all of that good stuff and more. So thanks so much for joining us. Let's get cooking. All right, a little bit of our ingredient flyover for today, right? So that is the steelhead that we bought. It is skin on. It is also pin bone out. They call it PBO, pin bone out. So there's a series of pin bones in here that they already took out for us, uh, which is great. That's a fantastic way to buy fish. That's what I look for. If not, uh, you need to employ some uh, little bit of technique with your tweezers to get in there and yank those guys out. We have these out because it makes life so much easier. And honestly, about 95% of the fish you're gonna buy is going to be set that way. So we've got our Weber cedar planks today. We've got our Western cedar planks. Uh, two really good choices. We're going with the Weber one today. We'll let that soak up just nice. Uh, some fresh lemon, right? Nothing is, is better on fish than fresh lemon. We're gonna do a little mix of fishy fishy and rub-a-dub. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic in there a little bit of olive oil as well. We're gonna make just kind of a fun little, uh, little uh, spread, right, to rub on the fish and get some seasoning, and then we're gonna garnish it with those lemons uh, at the very end. But I'll tell you what, super easy, not a lot of ingredients, and again, letting the grill and the cedar plank and the fish really stand out. All right, here we are, time to soak our planks. I wanna give these guys about two to three hours uh, of time to soak ahead of time, right? So I actually start off with a little bit of warm water because that really helps uh, get into those pores and get that wood set, right? I'm gonna hold this guy down for just a minute and then I'm gonna flip this other guy over and get that set as well. And then we'll push that guy in there. Now, the goal is to keep these guys under water, right? So if something happens and you can't keep them underwater, you know what works? Bottle of barbecue sauce does a fantastic job holding them underwater. First thing we need to make here is gonna be just our, our uh, seasoned oil, right? So I've got a little bit of uh, olive oil, I've got some crushed garlic. I'm gonna mix that all up in there and get that garlic separated. Okay, now, I always say as much or as little as you like. So let's add about a tablespoon and a half of fishy fishy. That's gonna give a beautiful herb to it. And then let's add about a tablespoon of Rub-a-dub, all right? And that's a good place to start. Keep in mind too, if I get through this cooking process and I think to myself, wow, I need to season this a little bit more. I can always season it on the grill, but this is gonna do a really nice job of uh, sticking to the fish and getting it seasoned and set to go. All right, here we are. So I basically trimmed a little bit of the tail off and a little bit of the top of the filet. Now, this is the belly, right? This is that steelhead belly. What I went ahead and did is made a cut along here, nice and firm, to pull that belly off. See how thin that is? Uh, that's gonna cook differently. But I'll tell you what's beautiful about that, a little bit of steelhead belly um, bacon is fantastic. Now, I'm gonna cut here like I just did. Boom, I cut through there. We are set to go. Look at this. We have our first filet. Now. This has the skin on. We're gonna go ahead and leave that because we're gonna show you one skin on and one skin off. 
Me, personally, I don't like the skin on here and I'll show you why. See that little bit of fat and that little bit of bloodline? I think between the skin, that fat and bloodline, it makes a really off taste in the fish, right? Especially when we put it on a grill and we're roasting it and this is getting some color on it. But I'm gonna leave it both ways so that you can decide, right? This is uh, the skin on we're gonna put there. Now, this is skin on still, but we're gonna trim this quick. So I move this guy to the edge of the board. I'm gonna make a little cut here. And now I'm gonna take my knife and go in and flip it and just slowly wiggle this across because you know you paid for all this, you wanna use it. I don't wanna uh, lose any of that skin or any of the flesh, I should say. I wanna just take the skin off. So basically what I do is, of course it's gonna be difficult because you're watching, right? Hold on to that quick and I'm wiggling the skin and my knife and here's what I'm doing. Separating that and that, right? I have a little bit here I can trim up on, but remember what I said in between the skin and the flesh, there was a little bit of that fat or that bloodline. This is okay, I think, on its own, but add the skin to it and it makes it a little bit weird, right? So now we'll go ahead and cut this in half and we've got two skinless fillets and one skin on. And then the rest of this, you can uh, let your cats fight over or uh, put it in the garbage and dispose of it properly. But that's it, that's set and ready. Next, we'll get cleaned up here super quick. Come back, we're gonna show you how to season. Our fish is all set. This is our skin on. These are two skinless pieces. So what I'm gonna do real quick is go ahead and mix this up and you can see how it's thickened up, right? Those uh, herbs and the fishy fish got a little bit, uh, um, absorbed a little bit of that moisture and got all nice and juicy and ready to go. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit there on the top and I'm gonna let this sit for just a couple minutes and then we're gonna season the backside of this as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. We'll open this up. Uh, our Genesis 2, we're nice and clean. We have got all three burners ignited. We're good to go. Close that lid now. Today's temperature, we're gonna go with 450 degrees. Now, we've got the iGrill 3 here, right? The great thing about the iGrill 3, this is a Bluetooth app that you can use. The beauty of the Weber Connect is we're now going Wi-Fi. So I can connect this to Wi-Fi in my house. Now I get much greater distance. So we are go ahead and get both of these set. And now we are ready to let this temperature climb. We're good to go. We are gonna start cooking. Preheated, we're at 450. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these planks on here because what I wanna do is get them toasted on the first side. So we'll add them on here. We're gonna shut it. We'll let them go for about four to five minutes until they get a nice toast, but you can already smell that beautiful cedar aroma working its magic in there. So we went ahead and flipped these over and you can see we're getting a little bit of toast on here. Now, here's what I'm gonna do with our steelhead. I'm gonna go ahead and take the skinned and put these guys right here. And I'm dragging them in a little bit of the oil as I come across because I want that oil to help them release from the uh, wood. This guy I'm gonna pick straight up with the skin and I'm gonna set it on the wood without any oil because now I want that skin to stick and help me separate it. So now we're gonna close it. Um, we'll show you how to load the Weber Connect as well, but we're gonna go ahead and close this for a minute, let that fish set. Our desired temperature for cooking is gonna be 450 degrees and we're gonna cook it to a doneness of 145 degrees. All right, we've got our probe for the Weber Connect. We're gonna load that right in the thickest part of the fish. We'll go ahead and run this cable here through the rotisserie side here, right? And then we'll go ahead and plug this into the Weber Connect. Now, I'm gonna show you uh, on my phone how we set up our first uh, cook with the Weber Connect. and We get up and running to now track our fish while we cook to 145 degrees. Well, let's take a walk through here and uh, it is definitely, we are ready to grill. So let's go ahead and hit that plus. We are now gonna set up for fish. We are gonna do uh, fish fillet, skin on. We're gonna pick probe number one, a little bit of grill maintenance. We've got that prep steps, we've got that. Start grilling. Now, that's gonna tell us, hey, how do you wanna get notified about your cook? Yes, we wanna allow that. There we go. Now it's telling us, insert your probe. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it's gonna tell us a little bit about how we wanna do it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get that cook set up and we will be set and ready to go. 
We'll do a little uh, doneness flyover. We're at 120 degrees. You can see we're getting a nice bit of char on the wood. That fish is close to done. See the little white up top? That's what we call albumin. That's kind of a white protein. That lets me know that fish is closer than ever to being done. So that's a good visual cue that we are getting where we need to be. So we've got the uh, Weber Connect plugged in, tracking our temps, and we'll come back and finish this off. We'll meet you at the cutting board when it's time to final garnish. Get ready to uh, devour some salmon. We are done. We just hit 145 degrees. And I'll tell you the beauty of that Weber Connect, man, it made it really painless. The perfect thing though, look at this cedar plank. Just that beautiful, beautiful aroma. These guys are done. It is time to head over to the cutting board, show you how we garnish these. And then it's, uh, you know, quality control time. Done, so easy. And I'll tell you, if you found a way to uh, get the smell through the camera, through your computer and out into like your house, you would make gajillions of dollars because this smells fantastic. I love the aromatic properties of cedar. They just turned out amazing. Now, in the recipe, we talk about seasoning about two thirds of this on here and then leaving the other third so you can uh, add more. We've still got it. We didn't actually add any more to it because man, it just smells fantastic. Then our garnish, a nice slice of lemon. And I wanna leave it a little bit thicker because I want my guests to be able to pick it up, squeeze some fresh lemon over there and be set. Now, this is the one we left with the skin on, but watch this. All you have to do is slide your knife under there. And look at that, you guys. It separates the skin from the fish. So we showed you how to skin it, which totally helpful, but now you can actually do it this way and by not oiling the plank, the skin sticks to the plank and it also pulls off, as you can see, a little bit of that uh, bloodline or that belly fat. So that is a great thing. Now, keep in mind, one and done. When those planks are finished, they are finished. It's time to throw them away and start over. All right, today's recipe, like we said, you can head down below into the description section where you can click print and follow along and then head down into the comment section, leave us a comment. How did you like this recipe? What would you like to see? How can we make you uh, be a legend in the backyard cooking circuit? And what can we do to be more helpful? Then while you're down there, subscribe, click on those notifications. Hey, you don't wanna miss out on all these cool videos. We've got so much stuff coming for you. Uh, and it just, yeah, oh man, like who'd have thought salmon would make you just drool, right? Uh, but you don't wanna miss out. So get down there, leave those comments and all that good stuff. Then at the end of this, I know what you're thinking. Hey, wait a minute, this guy always cooks beef and pork. Don't worry about it. At the end of this video, we've got some fantastic pork chops uh, for you. We've got steak and we've got chicken as well. So we covered it all, right? Beef, pork, uh, chicken, and fish. So we've got you set with the entire meal. So, hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. Thank you for hanging out and cooking with us. We hope you enjoy this recipe. Wanted to show you a couple different fun tips as well. So. It is time to, uh, yeah, I'm quality controlling this guy right here. So look at that, a little bit of fresh lemon on there. I'll take off my accoutrement, my garnish, right? And then look at this, look at this. Like so perfect, right? Get in that little chunk right here. Cook these guys to 145. Cheers. Oh, come on, best steelhead ever.